The world of clip-in pedals can be a bit daunting, but let's make that easier. Hi, I'm Sebastian with Crank Brothers, and today we're gonna look at the Crank Brothers cleat range and how to install them. Let's get into it. Okay, to kick things off, let's talk release and float and what these mean. The release angle refers to the degree of rotation required for the cleat to release from the pedal. The higher the angle, the more your foot needs to twist. You also have the choice of float. Float refers to the degree of free movement allowed by the cleat when clipped in. Basically, allowing your foot to float when clipped into the pedal. Hopefully this makes sense. If not, we will leave a link in the description below. Now, let's take a look at the Crank Brothers cleat range. We produce two different cleats, standard and easy release. Both are available with two different levels of float. Let's start with the standard release cleats. Our standard release cleat is our most popular. It comes with most of our clip-in pedals and fitted to all of our shoes. The cleats feature a release angle of 15 degrees and is available with a float of either six or zero degrees. Note, the cleats are marked left and right Having the left cleat on the right foot and the right cleat on the left foot will result in a 20 degree release angle. Now let's talk about easy release cleats. This cleat features a more forgiving 10 degree release angle. It is also available with either a six or a zero degree float. The easy release cleat is great for those not as confident about riding clips, especially riders with knee problems as it requires less movement to unclip. Now that we have covered the different types of Crank Brothers cleats, let's take a look at what it takes to install them. You'll need only two tools for this job, a four millimeter Allen and a little bit of grease. Included with your cleats will be plates for the screws, shims, a set of short screws, and a set of long screws. For this video, we're going to install a set of standard release cleats with a 15 degree release angle. So we will grab the cleat with the L engraved on it and our left shoe. Place the cleat centrally on the cleat box rails and make sure you have the screw plate installed into the cleat for the screw to sit in. If you're using Crank Brothers shoes, you'll want to grab the short screws and torque them to four Newton meter. Pro tip, grease the plate that the screws come in contact with. No, if you're using another brand of shoe, you'll want to check out our cleat fitting tool. This can help you determine how many shims to use under the cleat. We'll link it in the description below. We hope this has helped your cleat installation. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. We'll see you next time.